right now, not only our interview of the day on this great debate, but frankly, the interview of the year. Lawrence Gostin owns the high ground at Georgetown, yes, as a professor of medicine, but definitive on law. His work at Johns Hopkins, his work at Georgetown and Harvard has been noted for decades with, with uh, important books written as well. I want to talk, Dr. Gostin, about the thing that comes up in every conversation, which is the privilege versus the right on whether it's drunk driving or having a beer, or in this case, on vaccination. Are unvaccinated people of a right or a privilege? Which is it? Oh, well, it's, a, it's, it's certainly not a right. Um, and thanks for asking that. You know, that's a, you know, it's a really important question. I want to say first, you know, nobody should be kind of shaming or blaming people who are unvaccinated. That's entirely unproductive. It's not going to change hearts and minds. But, you know, you can do anything that you want to do for your own health and safety, but you don't have the right to put someone else at risk. So you don't have the right to go unvaccinated and unmasked in a crowded workspace or in a crowded classroom. It's very clear to me um, that no one has the right not to get a vaccine unless they're going to yeah. be hiding themselves away and not exposing others to infection. The courts seem to be siding, a la cruise ships or Indiana University, with the institutions. Does that surprise you? It doesn't. You know, I mean, we do have a very conservative court, uh, uh, judiciary, you know, Supreme Court and all right down. Um, so you can never sh be sure um, but the law seems to me to be, you know, uh, so, rock, rock solid, um, basically saying that, you know, businesses, um, mm -hmm. colleges, universities, um, cruise ships and others um, absolutely can right. require vaccinations as a condition of going to work. What do you presume we will see, and I'll pick on Florida with the really grim hospitalization statistics there, but there is a mantra of Jacksonian states' rights. How will that state deal with the battle between Jacksonian states' rights and courts saying, no, you got to go the other way? You know, it's going to be really rough. Um, you know, Florida is actually one of about 12 states that have actually passed a law banning proof of vaccination systems and banning local mask mandates. You know, one of the things that I reflect on is, is that, you know, in, in the conservative tradition in the United States, normally we give a lot of autonomy to businesses and to local governments and to local health officials. And so states are really, you know, abridging the rights of the private sector, uh, universities and others to actually ensure that their mm. workplaces are safe and secure. You know, and there's a wider freedom here, and, and that wider freedom is, you know, the freedom of all of us to get yeah. back to all of the things yeah. we love, and that'll only happen if most people are vaccinated. 